Are you camping this weekend? We want to know. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you'll definitely live amazing if you're out here on the one weekend a year where everybody is out here on July 4th weekend, right? <laughs> yeah, join the crowd. We're at a campground in Kentucky and the place is packed to the gills. It is like Grand Central Station here. In this video, we want to hear from you. We want to know if you uh, decided to camp this weekend or did the gas prices, fuel prices keep you stationary? And if you are camping, are the campgrounds full? Um, where we are, they're definitely full. I've noticed a lot of the people here are, are somewhat local. I haven't talked to everybody in the campground, obviously, but the few people that I did talk to that are not full-time our one fella said he's an hour away so you know it's i think it's mostly people within a hundred mile range probably and i'm wondering if that's the way it is in the campground you're you're at also <laughs> how far ahead did you book your campsite yeah for us to get this one we booked seven months out and uh glad we did because we wouldn't be here otherwise right i mean july 4th weekend is a big weekend and, you know, like I said, if you only camp one weekend out of the year, it's going to be this weekend. There's a lot going on in our campground and we've got some activities. There's going to be a golf cart parade. There's going to be people decorating their bicycles and there's a bike parade. I mean, there's pony rides. There's a lot going on. We're glad we're here. This is just wilder and crazier than, than we typically see. Last year we were with some friends in Montana and it was pretty low key. The year before that we were on the coast in Washington. Yeah, this is the first time we've been in what I would consider a family park, a uh, family campground. And uh, it's just, it's, it's wild. It is wild and, you know, again, we had to book really far in advance to get it. Um, so definitely leave us comments and answer our questions as far as where you are, how far ahead you had to book, if your campground is full, and if you're staying closer to home because fuel prices. Yeah, we'd love to hear your stories. And let us know what's happening in your campground because we think there's some crazy stuff happening behind us. You probably just saw the tote yeah. that went by. Um, we I've, been, do... I've been seeing a steady stream of that all morning. <laughs> and, uh, people taking their totes to the dump station. Right, because we do not have sewer hookups here. So yep. got to have the tote. If you're in the know, you've got the tote or you have Paul's method. Yep. I've got to go back and do some dumping myself. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? No. So I hope your 4th of July is, is great. I hope you get as many hot dogs and hamburgers as you can, <laughs> as you can eat and, and you have a good fireworks display and, and, you know, everything that goes with 4th of July. And that you're having fun with friends and family. I mean, that's really what it's all about. So happy Independence Day and we'll see you in the next video. See you next time.